This video is designed to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of searching the New York Times historical database, which is one of our coolest uh, primary source databases. So um, all we did there was clicked on articles and databases on the library homepage. And then just like for accessing any other uh, database, you're going to enter your student ID number in the last four digits of your social security number to get into the long list of databases. So to find the New York Times historical, there's two sections that you can check out. It's up here under history because, like I said, it's a great primary source document um, delivery system. So it has tons of, of primary sources going back to 1851 because it's the daily newspaper. Um, likewise, it's down here under newspapers, maybe a more obvious place to find it. But uh, same database located in both uh, uh, places. And all you need to do to open it is click either of those two links, and it'll pop you right onto the New York Times historical homepage after you click Connect to Database. So it looks pretty easy, and it is. All you're going to do is come up here to this keyword search box and type in whatever keywords you're looking for. And it's a simple database. It has every day of the paper from 1851 um, to the late 2000s. So you could look up anything. Um, the day after Lincoln was assassinated, the sinking of the Titanic, um, you know, World War II events, the moon landing, uh, and even in more modern history, um, don't forget you can look up things like uh, September 11th attacks. So it's not just for ancient history. Um, another thing that uh, people sometimes forget about is if you click on obituaries up at the top, the New York Times Historical is a preeminent world paper. So they've got obits for tons of, of well-known people. So you could look up Marilyn Monroe or John F. Kennedy. Um, one thing you would want to do, especially if you have someone with a common name, is to come down here to the date range and either put the, the day after or the week after the person passed away to make sure you're finding the exact person you're looking for. But um, it also has these uh, advanced options. You can come up to the top, click Advanced. And you get all kinds of different options. You can search multiple keywords. You can come down here and search a specific portion of the paper. So whether it's the advertisements or the comics or the main news sections, real estate, um, you can see every um, section of the New York Times is represented there. So you can change your sorting so that it can be by the most relevant articles to your keywords or from oldest to newest, newest to oldest. And you can do a, a couple of other little things that, that we'll look at in a minute. So. What we'll do is a sample search, right? The way I found all those articles. We're just going to come up here and, and do a phrase search for Civil War. But what we're going to want to do, because remember, this is every day of the paper going back to 1851, is we're going to want to specify the dates of the American Civil War. Because again, the New York Times is a world paper. So this will set it apart from the Spanish Civil War or any other Civil War that, that's ever been reported on for the most part. So we're just going to pick some, some basic start and end dates, 1861 to 1865. And then we're going to come down here, and what I would like to do in this in this case is sort it oldest to newest. So we see the articles in chronological order. Um, and you can change the items by page if you like. I don't like scrolling through page after page of results. So I'm going to change that to 100 so that we can see the most possible results at once. Uh, and then you can see it's really easy. Uh, their articles are sorted oldest to newest, so starting on January 1st of, of 1861. And you can see all these uh, relevant titles, the National Crisis. Um, if you see one that you like, you can click Preview, and uh, you'll see a summary of the article that tells you what it's about, uh, which also has the ability to immediately pop it out to a, a PDF view so you can see the actual article. If you uh, want to do it the long way, you just click right on the title. And the thing that's cool about the New York Times Historical is it's the actual day's paper. So you can see it just as it was printed. Um, there's this Tools menu down in the bottom right where you can save or print or you can expand or shrink the view so that it's either showing you the full article view or, or it fits the page. If you want it, you can come up here and click uh, Page View PDF and it'll pop out a, an actual saveable PDF. And you'll also notice there's this tools bar so you can save it to a folder, email yourself a link, print it. Um, you can click on Cite and uh, the New York Times Historical Database will generate a citation for you. So you can see it defaults to APA, but you can just as easily switch this to Chicago style, um, or MLA 7th edition, whatever you're looking for, just by clicking and then pressing the change button. And it'll, it'll generate the actual um, MLA style, in this case, citation for this particular article you're looking at, which is pretty helpful. So uh, very easy, right, and pretty neat. So if we come back to the main page where we actually type Civil War, I just want to point out to you, we searched every day, every day's paper, every article of every day's paper going back to 1851 for Civil War um, in, any, in any part of the paper. But what you can do is you can come over here and instead of searching every bit of text, you can search for your keywords and fields. So you can look for 
titles that have Civil War, um, summaries that say Civil War, or you could look for a particular author um, or something like that. You can also add multiple keywords. So where I'm clicking add a row right now, you can do that all day long and you can look for more specific articles, Civil War and Lincoln, Civil War and Slaves, um, anything that you would look up um, for your particular paper. So that's another good way to narrow your search. Uh, so again, this is the homepage, a very easy New York Times historical, a great source for uh, historical information and primary source docs.